Hey everyone, I'm Leanne Aguilera and ET is coming at you live from Comic-Con and I'm so excited because right now I'm joined by the new cast of Nancy Drew. Hi guys! Hi! Happy first Comic-Con! Thank, Thank you. How are you feeling right now? It's a little bit of an overwhelming process. Yeah. My it's cheeks are already yeah, like that. It's exciting, <laughs> it's yeah. nerve wracking, but it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. Yeah. I am so excited for the fans to be able to see Nancy Drew on their screens this October. I'm very fortunate. I've already seen the pilot, and it's so much fun. I have so many questions. First off, Kennedy. Stepping into the iconic shoes of Nancy Drew, an amazing literary figure, what was your initial reaction when you found out you got the role? I, I actually... Um, I mean, when I found out I was even testing for the part, I like... Cry. I was on my way to my babysitting job in New York and I like put on Dancing Queen on, in my earphones on the subway and cried. I was like, ah, ah, ah. Um, and so when I found out that it actually worked out, it was like, it just was a different plane of existence. Definitely. Yeah. I feel like the books are so iconic. Every little girl knows about the Nancy Drew books. Did you as I'm a cast, born. and the Hardy Boys. No, I'm yeah. Nancy, I grew up reading Nancy. Did you? I was gonna say, so, did yeah. any of you guys read the books growing up, or have you gone back since and read them? Yeah. I did in third grade, like in the library. I couldn't afford the box set, but <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot. I mean, I don't remember a lot of them because I was in third grade, but I was a huge fan of that, and then when yeah. the movie came out with like Emma Roberts, love her. And it, was, <laughs> yeah. it was pretty exciting. <laughs> well, and the fact that you have the TV's original Nancy Drew, Pamela Sue mm -hmm. Martin, is a part of the series. I yeah. know. What does so that mean cool. for you to have her blessing? It was so special. She, I mean, when she came and shot that day, she had, she walked into the makeup trailer and she's like, Kennedy, I wrote you this letter. And I was like, oh my God. And I went to my trailer and read it and it's the most darling yeah, thing. Yeah, she it, loved us all, didn't she? Yeah, she was she's so, so, so kind happy. and wonderful. And I'll, I'll treasure that, that letter yeah. forever. She was amazing. Well, I love the fact that this new Nancy Drew is bringing a fun twist to the characters that fans know and love. Let's do a little character roll call and tell me a little bit about what we can expect from your character's arc in season one. So obviously Kennedy kicks us off with this Nancy Drew. <laughs> yeah, so this Nancy, um, she's just as she always has been, is incredibly courageous and full of confidence and uh, meticulous and but we kind of see a little bit more fire from her, a little bit more command, um, some more boldness. Um, but she's also flawed in ways that we haven't seen her represented so much in the past. You know, she's growing up, she's becoming an adult and dealing with a lot of tricky situations that she needs to work through, so. Definitely. Yeah. Bess Marvin, she, uh, from the outside, you think that she is super, you know, knows what she wants, who she is. Um, she, she looks very prim and proper, but she's definitely going through a lot of anxiety for her own identity um, and hiding her own uh, secrets too. So through the season, you definitely will see her break down into a really relatable human being. So, yeah. So I play George Fan, previously Georgia Fane. And um, she is this really tough girl who kind of comes from a really rough family. Definitely a twist on her because I know in the book she was not as tough. But her and Nancy have got some beef to deal with. <laughs> um, so it's cool to see them like come together at some point to have to like solve these mysteries. Because I know for a fact George does not like working with Nancy. <laughs> but ultimately they kind of have to. So yeah. we see that. And we, see, we kind of see her open up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And for our fearless fellas. I play Ace, and he works at the diner with these ladies, and uh, washes dishes, and helps solve the crime as he can. There's a lot of comedic moments in the pilot. He's the funny man. Yeah, <laughs> so funny. Happy. And what can you tell me about Nick? Uh, Nick, Ned Nickerson, AKA Nick. Um, I've been calling myself Nick Netherson, <laughs> so that's complicated. Um, but no, Nick. He is, he's got a bit of a past, Nick. And you kind of find out as you go, we kind of reimagined uh, Ned Nickerson uh, significantly. Um, and as we go, mysteries will be kind of revealed about what he's got hiding. So we'll, well, speaking of these mysteries, I feel like once fans watch this first episode, they're gonna have so many questions. And the first question that I have is, is this a supernatural series? Is it a rational one? What do you want to tell the fans? Oh, it's super supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> There's it's a lot yeah, of rational everything. moments, yeah. but I feel like yeah. Supernatural is definitely a huge mm -hmm. factor in it. Yeah, Nancy leads with a very anti-ghost mindset, um, and that. yeah, she's <laughs> yeah. she's really not she's not, not a believer. 
Um, but it's a very supernatural world. Ghosts are, are part of it, and they're really scary. <laughs> Well, also, we've got to talk about the fact, Kennedy, that Scott Wolf is playing your TV dad. I love you, Scott. Were you a Party of Five fan? Unfortunately, past my time. <laughs> um, however, my parents are, <laughs> and they were psyched, and they, my dad and Scott, now they talk all the time, and, and they're great friends, but Scott's the perfect addition to our cast. He's a phenomenal actor, phenomenal person. He's awesome. I'm so excited yeah. for all the CW fans to crazy town of yours. It definitely gives me some Riverdale vibes, which is great because you guys have Riverdale leading you guys in now on Wednesday nights. Yeah. Why do you think that Riverdale fans would enjoy Nancy Drew? I think it's similarly very, uh, there's, there's a lot of spook, a lot of mystery. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of mist. A lot of mist. <laughs> um, but, yeah. but, you know, great relationships, uh, great romance, great friendships coming together to do things. Um, but I think, you know, it kind of, we don't take ourselves too seriously. I think these characters all have a really great sense of humor about everything mm -hmm. and can kind of assess things on a little bit of a lighter level and then dive in for the deeper moments. So I think that kind of contrast is, is gonna give a fresh take on this sort of genre that the CW is used to seeing.